Hello my friends, welcome to reddit rabbit. Before we start, catch the rabbit at the bottom right corner, smash that subscribe button and leave a comment. r slash ask reddit, what kind of drunk are you? I don't remember, but pepperidge farm members. My general mood gets amplified. If I'm happy, I get happier. If I'm sad, I get sadder, etc etc etc. Some. I do not get emotional escape from drinking. There is no cheering up if I'm already sad. I'll just lose all control and start crying over everything. If I'm in a neutral or happy mood I have good old time though. I can go from witty and charming to extremely tired within a minute. The extremely tired bit is me. But I realized it eventually passes and I become fun again haha. Second wind activates. Yep. Two drinks and I'm super lethargic and can already feel a headache coming on. The kind that is constantly worried if he is too drunk. I used to be like that as well. By the time I stopped worrying if I was too drunk it meant I was wrecked. Lem guess. Anxiety? The rich kind. I may be broke as hell and counting my cents earlier that day and waiting for a check. But when I pass a certain point in the evening I start paying shots and beers left and right like if I was a millionaire baby. My football, soccer team won an important game one evening on a Thursday. Drunk me realized I'd been paid and in celebration demanded to buy rounds of jajabums. Tequila shots for everyone there. Very expensive Thursday. One night I spent so much I got my entire solitaire team wasted. Ha. Huh. I play in a band. Our friend would help us by running the soundboard. He'd get free beer. After every gig we'd go to the same greasy spoon diner for some breakfast or burgers. Every single time his drunk ass would try to buy us breakfast and ask yo. I got breakfast. Guys. They take credit cards in this place? No. Man. They do not. So. We'd end up buying him breakfast instead. This happened after every gig for 5 freaking years and is lovable. Dopey ass would never remember. He's the best. 5 years of free breakfasts? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys were the ones getting played for dopes buddy lol. Drunk me makes elaborate plans to do things with people that sober me never follows through with. That's the old Persian way. The ancient Persians tended to deliberate on important matters while they were drunk. They then reconsidered their decisions the following day when they were sober. If it happened that their first deliberation took place when they were sober, they would always reconsider the matter under the influence of wine. If a decision was approved both drunk and sober, the decision held. If not, the Persians set it aside. My husband and I use this method to make life decisions. Marriage? Kids? Buy this house? The old Persian way. We didn't know it was a thing though. I can't wait to tell him. Why did you spell it Persian? She is getting ready to deliberate. I'm going to get so deliberated tonight after work. I start out as a fun drunk and then I turn into an emotional and sad drunk. Then I finish off as a philosophical drunk. Ha you hh you should have seen that time that I. Wait. No oh no. I can't believe I'm. I'm. Or am I at all? That's your drunk in 5 seconds. Press 1 to unsubscribe from fast end drunk stories. Where do subscribe to this? With your mom's credit card numbers and the three numbers in the back oh and while you're at it the expiration date and zip code just for fun smiley face. Same here. The problem is that fun drunk me thinks that more drunk will be more fun and then sad emotional makes everyone not want to deal with me by the time philosophical drunk shows up. And this is why I don't drink. Same. Then I turn into passed out on the toilet seat drunk after philosophical drunk. I'm typically a quiet, reserved sober that turns into a fun loving, talkative drunk that wants to befriend everyone around them. This just reminds me of a quiet guy we had at work who was shy and barely ever spoke to anyone. Then they came out for the Christmas work do, had some drinks and really opened up. They were super fun and that stuck when we were all back at work. Eventually, he ended up being the most popular guy at work. A little confidence goes a long way for the right person. This gives me confidence for key new job. I'm usually the quiet guy. Oh be wary of that advice. I don't mean just turn up drunk. Yeah definitely. I'm always cautious of my sobriety around co-workers. 
I start telling everyone how great they are and that they can definitely pursue their dreams. Then. I get the munchies. I really appreciate you. And if I was drunk I'd really appreciate the hell out of you. I've been told I tell people how great they are too loudly though, but thanks. You're breathtaking. No, you're breathtaking. Stumbles. Encouragement. Then engorgement. I can say to the others that I'm going to the bathroom, but then on my way there I say frick this and just go home. The old Irish goodbye. I always knew it as the Irish exit. One of my favorite techniques. Let it Kenny leave? That's when you steal a 2-4 and walk through a sliding glass door. It's almost time for the Singapore scram. I call this a tactical dismount. The one who talks about life, death, and existence after two tequila shots. Also, extremely horny. I usually find that 27th tequila shots fixes this for me. But I never do 28 shots of tequila. That's too much. I'm a total lightweight. But when it comes to tequila, there's something special to it. I can drink the whole night, or nights, and have the time of my life. I will die the next morning, or whenever I stop, but I'm practically a god with tequila. I'm the opposite, I can drink all night and have a great time, but at the first shot of tequila I'm fricked up drunk and my memory stops functioning. You go from talking about death to being dead. Man. I'm the worst. I mean. I overshare sober. Drunk me has no filter at all. I mean, she's hilarious. But I always wake up thinking I said what to who. Same, dude. I always wake up thinking why I said what I said and wondering if those people will ever want to be around me ever again. It is hard to accept, but those people are around you, because you act like this. It took me till my 40s to get that my idiocy is charming to the weirdos who hang around me. Holy it I needed this. Even been told the same to my face by said loved ones. Thank you. Merry meet. Same. In addition. I am loud while I'm oversharing. Drunk me is terrible. The magician drunk. I can disappear only to reappear in a whole new location. Ah yes. The Irish teleport. My teleporter has been glitching for the last couple of years. No matter where I set coordinates it always winds up to bed. Sounds like you got the French teleport. I assumed it was a French patch on my Irish teleport, but I quit smoking so I'm still stumped. Had some roommates do that. They blacked out I. Kentucky and woke up in Georgia. Angry, violent and awful. I have an allergic reaction to alcohol that causes me to break out in handcuffs. I had 9 years sober in April. Congratulations on staying sober. Thank you kind stranger. I can't say it's always been easy, but it's always been worth it. Right there with you. Working on my first year. I think I am allergic to. I would always black out and the next day people would tell me I was really mean and said mean things to the people I loved. I could never drink a little it was always to the point of blacking out. Now I never touch alcohol. I think some people just don't react well to it. Congrats on 9 years. Happy, pleasantly dozy and distracted, but only temporarily as I'm using booze and drugs to numb things out to the point of blackout and not remembering details the next day. I realized I still have to wake up to the same it the following day, so what's the point? Being sober for 56 days. Congratulations. Exactly. It only makes the itty things in my life feel it here the next day. And it hasn't fixed anything in my life. Only ruined everything I have ever loved. I'm at 27 days. Hope I can keep it up. I'm not as thick as you drunk I am. And we all fell down when the sun came up. I think we've had enough. Alright alright it's a hell of a feeling though. It's a hell of a feeling though. Champagne cocaine gasoline. Loud and horny. Also it's the only time I can give a BJ without throwing up so that usually happens. Bumjagi saved me when I was drowning. Bumjagi is a real G. He helped me move the other day and even brought some beer over. Really just a great guy all around. One time he bailed me out of jail and took me to Baskin Robbins before giving me a long hard talk about my life. Sober ever since. Bumjagi took a bullet for me. The order's crazy it online kind of drunk. So far, I've ordered grumpy cat leggings, 
an embroidery set, socks that make your legs look like chicken legs, the entire Harry Potter series in Dutch and Swedish, I speak neither language, concert tickets, a popcorn machine, a llama flower pot, countless pizzas, and more alcohol. I only order adult it drunk. Last time I got drunk I ordered a vacuum. Before that, a new blanket, because I only had a crocheted one that was too small. And I was cold. I ordered a carpet cleaning machine. At first I was angry at my drunk self for spending so much, but it came in handy recently when my very large dog bathed the entire contents of his food bowl onto my rug. Drunk me plans ahead.